it's Monday the 11th of May and this is our morning devotion. Genesis chapter 1 verses 1 to 5. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good and he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness he called night. And there was evening and there was morning the first day. Over the past week I've been chatting to a number of people and I'm sensing a reduction in the general mood. It feels like the lighter side of the lockdown, if there ever was such a thing, is beginning to wear off. We've got the jobs done around the house. We've participated in Zoom calls. We've worked from home or else travelled to work on quad or roads and all the differences that work involves. We've had the lovely weather nearly the whole time. We've learnt new domestic skills, whether it be baking bread or cutting hair. And even toilet roll supply seemed to have reached a more settled level of supply and demand. And there's a growing feeling of, OK, right, I think I've had enough of this now. I'd like things to go back to normal. With the realisation that it will be a different kind of normal when it comes. And so our mood feels like it has slipped off balance. So I thought we would pause what we've been doing in our devotions and take some time to think about some practical steps that we can take to find the strength to ride this out. I want to stress these are not instant fixes, nor are they going to make the crisis go away. But I do believe that they will give us the strength to endure. In all, I hope you will sense that they point you to God, who will minister to us through the various ways in which I'm going to talk about. Psalm 59, I will sing of your strength. In the morning, I will sing of your love, for you are my fortress, my refuge in times of trouble. So today, getting a routine. In Genesis 1, we see that one of the very first things that God put into the very fabric of our existence was the importance of routine. The very first effect of there being light from our sun was that due to the rotation of the earth, we had day and night. Day for activity, night for rest. Day to expend energy, night to recharge it. And into our daytime, also comes routine. At our point in history and in our part of the world, it's something generally like wake up, breakfast, activity, lunch, activity, evening meal, leisure, rest and sleep again. These give us boundaries, purpose, an itinerary for each day. But when they are altered, it is surprising how easily we can fall out of a routine. Perhaps you don't have to be somewhere at a certain time in the morning. And before you know it, sleep is after midnight and getting up is happening later and later. Suddenly you can watch TV or read or chat to a later hour because you don't need to get up at exactly the same time. Genesis 1 repeats after each new addition to our world, there was morning and there was evening, the third, fourth, fifth, sixth and so on days. Whether you're self-isolating, working from home or social distancing, keeping your daily routine is still very important. It's part of how God designed life. That's what Genesis 1 underlines. Sticking to a routine helps to keep the mind occupied. It makes us feel more purposeful. It helps to reduce stress levels. And it gives us a sense of achievement, as God clearly had in Genesis 1, when it repeatedly says, and God saw that it was good. Don't be surprised at the impact feeling purposeless has upon your mental health. 
If your daily routine has come to a halt, don't panic. You can make a new routine for the current situation you find yourself in. Set your alarm to the usual time and get up and ready for the day. Take your usual morning shower and dress in actual clothes, not your pyjamas. This will set you up mentally and physically for the day ahead. Set yourself up spiritually. Take time to pray with God and to listen to him as you read the Bible. Routine gives our lives purpose and meaning. Don't be surprised at the impact having purpose has upon your mental health. It is us doing what we've been made to do. Colossians 1, 1 uh, 16. For everything, absolutely everything, above and below, visible and invisible, everything got started in him and finds its purpose in him. So set a timetable for the day with food, activity, whether that's work or, or something else, socialising and rest. Routine is woven into who we are. It's in our nature. It is how God has made us. By maintaining a routine, even if it's an altered one, we are living as we've been made to. So today, there is morning and there is evening. Monday the 11th of May. Let us pray together. Heavenly Father, this morning I affirm that I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, that you reign over it, that all that happens is within your authority, that you are carrying forward your great rescue plan in all things. Today I come to you, perhaps discouraged or weary or frustrated or feeling down. The uncertainty of these days, the fear that continues to set the mood, the distress that comes with each day's news is weighing heavily upon my shoulders and is pressing down upon me. Lord of order, of purpose and of hope, Come to me by your Holy Spirit and minister to me your strength and perseverance so that I may have the resources to face this day from its beginning through to its end. May you do so for those around me, those whom I love, so that in our routines, as we live as we have been made, we would find purpose in this day and a sense of achievement at its end. And this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So I pray that God's blessing will be with you today.